even a hypersonic missile that goes 17 times faster than the fastest missile currently available in the world. It can hit a target 1,000 miles away within 14 inches from center point. Eighty years in the making. One hundred percent success rate. One hundred and six million dollar unit price. These are hypersonic missiles the whole world is afraid of. After more than 80 years since their research began in Germany, hypersonic weapons are finally here. Untrackable, unstoppable, and as lethal as advertised, these weapons mark the biggest breakthrough in missile technology since the ICBM. And like with ICBMs, Russia, China, and the United States are in a race to dominate the space. Russia has three representatives in the race. They include the KH-47 M2 Kinzhal, the 3M22 Zircon, and the Avant-Garde. The KH-47 M2 Kinzhal has already achieved operational status and has earned Russia the title of the first country to use a hypersonic weapon in active combat when they fired the Kinzhal at a target in Ukraine during the ongoing invasion of the country. China enters the race with the Dongfeng-17 and the Zingkong-2, both of which have been impressive in their tests with 100% success suggesting that at least one of the two is outstandingly close to operational status. That's more than can be said for the United States, as the U.S. has yet to produce a fully functional hypersonic missile. However, the country is reportedly developing at least eight different hypersonic weapons, each of which, according to a recent U.S. Defense Department analysis, would cost as much as $106 million. These American missiles include those already making a name for themselves, such as the AGM-183A and the Hypersonic Air-Breathing Weapon Concept, or HAWC, pronounced HAWK for short. These hypersonic missiles from the three world powers are what the whole world is afraid of. To understand why, we must first take a look at how hypersonic missiles work. How hypersonic missiles work. Most hypersonic missiles attain their blurry Mach 5 to Mach 25 speeds in one of two ways. The first is by being an air-breathing traditional missile that's powered by a scramjet engine as it flies and maneuvers through the atmosphere. Scramjet engines, unlike conventional engines, have no moving parts because they operate by burning fuel in a stream of supersonic air that is compressed by the forward speed of the aircraft. Conventional engines use slower, subsonic air, instead, that must be compressed with moving engine parts and not the aircraft's immense forward speed. The second approach to a hypersonic missile is the hypersonic boost glide missile that's boosted to hypersonic speeds by rockets, disengages from the rockets, and then glides through the atmosphere through its target, using lift from the airflow to maneuver. It is important to note that in both options, the missiles maneuver. This maneuverability is what truly sets hypersonic missiles apart from their predecessors, not the speed. In fact, all of the world's ICBMs travel at hypersonic speeds, but aren't considered hypersonic missiles. The American Minuteman III, for instance, which can fly as fast as Mach 23. If ICBMs could maneuver during flight, rather than fly in a predictable parabolic path, that makes them easy to intercept by air defense systems, they could be hypersonic missiles. Russia has a hypersonic missile that exploits this thin line between ICBMs and hypersonic missiles. The country also has other hypersonic missiles that take the two traditional hypersonic missile approaches. Let's now see them all. Hypersonic missiles, Russia. Russia has three types of hypersonic missiles in their latter stages of development. The KH-47M2 Kinzhal, the 3M22 Zircon, and the Avant-Garde, with their cumulative top speeds ranging from Mach 12 to Mach 27. 
KH47M2 Kinzol. The KH47M2 Kinzol is a hypersonic, aeroballistic, air-to-surface missile that can carry both conventional and nuclear warheads. It approaches hypersonic speeds as a miniature ICBM of some sort. So it's neither a glide vehicle nor a scramjet-powered missile. After its launch, the Kinzol accelerates to a flight ceiling of 66,000 feet and a top speed of Mach 12 en route to its target, performing maneuvers every step of the way to evade missile defense systems. The Kinzol has a maximum range of 1,200 miles and usually lands within one meter of its target, enabling the missile to take out targets at any corner of the planet with a 1,100-pound warhead that releases energy equivalent to 8,800 pounds of TNT. 3M22 Zircon Instead of using the classic ballistic missile technology that the Kinzol is based on, the winged 3M22 Zircon missile with a lift-generating center body has a more advanced scramjet missile design. Here, a booster stage with solid fuel engines accelerates the missile to supersonic speeds, after which a scramjet motor with liquid fuel in the center stage accelerates it to a peak altitude of 92,000 feet and to hypersonic speeds up to Mach 9. The Zircon has a maximum range of 621 miles within which it would strike its target with 4,700 pounds of TNT. Avant-Garde Avant-Garde is Russia's hypersonic glide vehicle. Consequently, it has no propulsion system of its own. It is instead carried as a MERV payload by the UR-100 UTTKH R-36M2 or RS-28 Sarmat heavy ICBM rockets. After its release from these rockets, the 4,400-pound Avant-Garde glides toward its target at speeds up to Mach 27, making it the fastest of the Russian hypersonic missiles. It is perhaps the most lethal too, as it can be armed with either a conventional warhead or a nuclear warhead with a blast yield exceeding two megatons. Behold, Russia's three main hypersonic missiles, Next stop, China. Hypersonic Missiles, China. China's hypersonic missile capability currently rests on two missiles, the Dongfang-17 and the Xingkong-2. The Dongfang-17, short form DF-17, can be seen as a designated launch vehicle for the actual missile, known as the DF-ZF. Both the DF-17 and the DF-ZF work hand-in-hand hand and are like two pieces of a two-piece puzzle. In fact, they were both officially unveiled on the same day, on October 1, 2019. The DF-17 has passed its flight tests all seven times it has been tested, while the DF-ZF, which is the warhead that holds the nuclear or conventional warhead, has been tested and proven capable of reaching speeds between Mach 5 and Mach 10 as it maneuvers en route to take out a target up to 7,500 miles away. The Xingkong-2, also known as the Sky Star-2, flies similarly to the DF-17. It would be attached to a booster rocket that shoots it into Mach 5 plus speeds. The Xingkong-2, however, comes with the added bonus of being a wave rider. A wave rider is any flight vehicle that rides its own shockwaves for greater lift, less drag, greater range, and overall improved performance. During its first flight test on August 3, 2018, the Xingkong-2 would demonstrate these advancements and more that had gone into it. After it was launched from a target range located in northwest China, the missile flew 98,000 feet into the sky, achieved speeds exceeding Mach 5.5, maneuvered, and reached its target, all in less than 10 minutes. The test was a complete success. There we have it for China's cutting-edge hypersonic missiles. Now, it's the USA's turn. Hypersonic Missiles USA Of the at least eight supersonic missiles under development in the US, two have managed to stand out. The AGM-183A and the Hypersonic Air-Breathing Weapon Concept, or HAWK for short. The AGM-183 ARRW is a hypersonic glide vehicle being developed by the largest defense contractor on the planet, Lockheed Martin, after the company received a $480 million contract from the U.S. Air Force. 
the AGM-183 is currently undergoing tests at Edwards Air Force Base in California. Major success came on May 14, 2022, when the missile demonstrated separation from the B-52H Stratofortress bomber. Its booster burned for the expected duration, and then the missile accelerated to hypersonic speeds. The Hawk is the last hypersonic missile that will be discussed in this video, and we've probably saved the most special for last. The Hawk, unlike all prior hypersonic missiles, is no missile at all. It's more like a hypersonic bullet, a kinetic energy weapon without an explosive warhead. Hawk is a scramjet-powered, air-launched hypersonic weapon project of the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA for short. Principal Director for Hypersonics, Mike White, stated that Hawk would be smaller than hypersonic glide vehicles and could therefore launch from a wider range of platforms. He additionally noted that Hawk could integrate seekers more easily. Hawk has had three flight tests, the first of which happened on July 18, 2022. In this test, the weapon was able to fly at Mach 5 plus speeds at an altitude greater than 60,000 feet. Its maximum range is yet to be determined, but all signs point toward it being capable of a revolution across the globe, or as close to it as possible. There we have it. For the US, China, and Russia, history is about to be written once again, with the breakthrough of a new type of weapon that would define the hierarchy of world powers. The nuclear age preceded this, and now it could be the age of the hypersonic weapons. To ensure that the right power gets it right, subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching.